Hello and welcome to DirectX 11 tutorial 12. In this tutorial, I know I had said we would get to the pixel shader, but there's something else I'd like to do first just to keep the engine from becoming too much of a mess. Let's go to our graphics header and we are going to include our input layout with our vertex shader. So first let's cut the input layout and go to our shaders header. We're just going to add this right here. We are going to add a function to get a pointer to the input layout. Let's create that definition and just have it return the input layout. We are going to change the constructor to take an input layout description uh, array. And it's also going to take uh, the number of elements. So let's go to that CPP and add these arguments to the uh, initialize. Now let's go back to our graphics CPP. And we are going to just change where we are creating the input layout and put that inside of the shaders. What do we call that? We call it description. I guess really I don't want to call that description, I'll call it layout description, because that's what it is. Alright, so we will pass in the layout description, the number of elements. We need to get the uh, buffer from the shader, or from the shader buffer rather. So now the input layout is part of our vertex shader class. So if we go back to our graphic CPP, we can just define how our layout will be for whatever vertex shader we're making. And then we will just pass in the layout and then the number of elements. And let's test this just to make sure it runs. Oh, it didn't run. It's because I redefined HR. It says git buffer is not a member of blob. Oh, I didn't need to call that git buffer there. Okay, now it should run. So let's test this just to make sure. Oh. Put another H there, whoops. Come on, cannot convert from input layout to, oh, I meant to call git. Okay, it's going to compile this time. There we go. And now we have just helped reduce clutter in our graphics header. We can, you know, easily get the input layout from our vertex shader just by calling the git input layout. And that is all that I wanted to cover in this tutorial. In the next tutorial, we are definitely going to get on the pixel shader.